Hey guys, it's Ticker and welcome to Hero Defense Haunted Island. Before we begin, full disclosure here. The developers of this game, Happy Tuesday, gave me this game for free. There was nothing else beyond that. There was no sponsorship, there was no payment. They were just like, hey, we saw your Sanctum 2 playthrough and we think that you're a pro at Tower Defense. So here, yeah, have our game that's just came out of early access. So, yeah, once again, this is, was given to me by the developers, but there is no contract, there is no deal, there is no monetary transition, unless you include the game itself being a monetary transition, involved whatsoever. So, from what I can tell, and given from what they told me, this sounds like a tower defense game more akin to Sanctum. I don't know if it's more akin to Sanctum 1 or Sanctum 2 though, because I'm, I prefer Sanctum 1 over Sanctum 2 by far. I think Sanctum 2 is the worst of the games. So let's get started and see what we're going to run into here. Maybe I should have looked for the tutorial. Oh, drag Jack on the map to place him. Okay. What? Okay, so the towers are heroes. So it seems very much like it seems very much akin to a actual. Do I? Let me handle this. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So it's. Kind of like a, it's kind of. That's a, hmm. That's an interesting. Oh, hello. Jack, this island is mine. Okay, bye then. Hi again. <laughs> Father, are you afraid to face me, man to man? Oh, oh. Oh, that voice acting just then. Oh, that voice acting just then was so cheesy. I mean, I, I can't really be too surprised. This is an indie game, and what I can find me. Okay. Yes. Orbs. Charging costs. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, space key. Okay, so you temporarily deal more damage. I think. Wait, do you? Uh, oh, no, no, it's permanently leveling up. So yeah, it's like the typical thing. I mean, this is... It's interesting, because... With normal... Seems uh, like you held them off for now. See you later. This is right. Uh... Like Your another... skeletons will not stop me from finding my wife. I guess it's another character. Barrows do more damage against skeletons. Okay. Hello, Dracula. Vampires. I'm doomed. My holy water has little effect on them. What? But. Okay. Leave the bloodsuckers to me, old man. Okay then. It's it's weird. This is a very interesting mechanic where it's 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 kind of like Sanctum. It's tower defense, but it's not. But the difference is that with, with Sanctum, when you are fighting, you know, you are actively you fighting. Saved me. Barrows is the name. Shall we push onward together? I prefer to fight alone, but your aura makes me stronger. Call me Jack. Uh, the voice acting is really cheesy. I, I don't know if that's what they were going for. But if it is, then bravo for that one. 
Okay, what's it gonna do? I don't know what the hell this stuff is here. I assume it's like a bunch of challenges that everyone that's playing it has to do? Maybe? I don't know. By God, it seems like the entire graveyard has risen up to fight. Steady, old man. We are all that stands between those monsters and the town. Okay, so we got an interesting mechanic here. Easy, son. Secret power. So standing on certain areas with certain characters will result in certain things. Gotcha. And uh, I guess we'll keep Jack for now. Okay, we'll phone that. I mean, it is interesting to see people try and reimagine the tower defense formula. Because obviously, you've got your standard tower defenses, you've got the anomaly games, which is basically reverse tower defense, where you're trying to get through a tower defense area. You've got Sanctum, which is tower defense, but it's got first person elements. And then you've got this one, where it's kind of like, I guess, if we. Of Legends became a tower defense game. Okay, this seems standard stuff. Like the employees are getting, that's the wave number, the background color tells which character is most effective. I don't have a yellow. So, what does that mean for me? I have no idea. So, I guess we'll just wait. I mean, one thing I can say is that while I do like a living coffin. I bet it bleeds gold. <laughs> like one, one thing I can definitely say with the game is that while I do appreciate the art style, it's got a very, very unique art style. At the same time, though, things like the animations, I mean, I'm not... It's a little bit juddery. It's like, it's more stop motion than it is. Uh, it got away. It's tougher than it looks. Oh, okay, I hover over to get gold. All right. I love gold. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. That thing dropped frost bombs, Jack. We can use them to slow down monsters. Okay, so another thing. You can use item. Oh! Okay, MOBA stop. MOBA logic! So you gotta learn to the out. I'm guessing that's what the currency is for to buy more. You use upgrade your buildings and get gold by creeps. Uh, completing challenge map challenges. Okay, so you got you actually got a little bit more freedom of movement here. Like you can only go onto these areas, but it's not like you're locked in. Let me handle this. So I can move them there, but I can't. Yes, yeah, they. Okay, I think I get it. So yeah, the game's got interesting mechanics. And there's something bad about the game. I mean, it's like. I'm trying to be a bit more critical with this. I guess partially because, again, as that guy for free, full disclosure, no other monetary stuff. Hands, hands on my heart on that one. Just tell me where to go. Okay, let's charge that one up. I don't know. It's in. I mean, I can't fault it for being a rather unique mechanic, I guess. No time to I'll Boy, Vigat, good to see you in the flesh. I'll enjoy skinning you out, yes. Bones O'Malley, what did you do to my wife? Possibly deadly. If they reach the barricade, then you lose all your lives. Okay. So, I mean, that's hmm, that's a bit harsh. It's time. Okay, this is over here, so we get some power boost. It's it's definitely it, it's difficult to really 
but revenge hasn't brought back my wife. Mourn her later, Barrows. Back to the town, for now. It's weird, the voice acting is quite hit and miss. For example, Jax's... Jax's is kind of... I swear that's becoming a running thing. So, Barrow's voice acting is good, but there's something about Jax that I really, really don't like. I think it's kind of something to do with just... I don't know if it's because of it being cheesy or just bad. Speaking of... That, why is that only coming in my left ear? Yeah, this is, yeah left ear. Don't know if it's the wrong way around. I don't think that would really matter. He would just gonna get one headphone. What? So drag that to the town. Okay. Every hero plays on attack speed, but only one at a time. Okay, so you got books that are spread around the area, and only one person can be at a time. You call okay. yourself a slayer? You're too late, Jack Sanders. They've destroyed everything. Uh, I take it you're the mayor. The survivors can rebuild the town. Only if you help. Start with the academy. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 town management? Huh. Multiplayer mode. You can fight against other players. That'd be interesting. I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. So, rebuild the academy to point in skill points in your heroes. Right. There. You can learn new skills here. You'll need them to overcome more powerful monsters. I just want to point out that this hero over here is like a literal copy-paste of Annie from League of Legends. Like, almost exactly copy and paste. So... Uh... Like, oh, oh, oh! Ooh, okay. So, RPG elements, right. Does it... Does reflexes, more attack speed. Armor piercing, that'd be pretty nice. Can't do that one yet. Attack range. More damage. So I think what I'd want to do is I want to put a point into that. Oh, I don't have enough to... I gotta upgrade. Okay, so... Point into there. Get myself some nice triple hits. Can I upgrade it? Okay, no, I guess I'm upgrading all of it then. Yep. Okay, now what about barriers? Hmm. He's only got two, so I gotta be a bit more careful here. More attack damage is always nice. I need more skills, apparently. Maximum level reach currently. I'm guessing, yep, okay, so never mind, I can only upgrade what I've got. Okay, would have liked it if I had a bit of, what's this? Oh, yep, yep, it's kind of like a, sponsored by Razor. Okay, not sponsored this, hashtag not sponsored. So it's, it just got to basically do these challenges. All bounty rewards, yeah, 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 I'm probably not going to be able to manage that. Upgrade, I need 60 gold. Right. Oh, run for your lives! Count Necrosis is coming! The Count is here. Father didn't keep me waiting. Your father was once a great and noble man. Until he betrayed everything my family stood for. I swore to kill him, and I will. If you don't, He'll create more and more monsters until this place is hell on earth. We're needed at the town gate. Okay, so is this like a cutscene or is this? Okay, can't record this most feared vampire on earth. Okay, never mind then. So is this like different areas I have to unlock? This campaign. Hold him back. Unlocks the forge, which I assume. I mean, now it's time for interesting thing into the mix. Leave, or I'll slaughter every soul in the town. Somebody just bought an epic rune bag. Okay. 
Now or never. Uh, I guess I, I guess guy. little damage. I'm coming for you. Nope, gone. Okay. WSC is not really an option there. Hmm. Back off, evil. I wonder if I move barrows here if I'll get even more damage to him. Maybe. Who knows? Bat vampires, upgrade your frost bombs. How do I do that? Oh, use your frost bombs, not upgrade your frost bombs. What the hell is I think? Hopefully I can get more of this stuff. There we go. <laughs> A bolt between the eyes will drop any monster. I'm just warming you up, boy. Your blood will taste that much sweeter. Okay, and now it's sending these speed buggers. Uh, I guess we'll upgrade Barrows then because of it. And the townspeople fight oh. mine. Jack! Give the word, and I'll unleash an angry mob. I was, I was trying to use something, but apparently clicking anywhere. Angry mobs defeat the entire wave. Oh, now, okay. Money? Men, women, and children fighting tooth and nail to defend their homes. They only delayed the inevitable. This town, your blood, it will all be mine. Hmm. Okay, so I can search and charge him up there. How many ways am I? We're uh, getting there. And it looks like I'm gonna guess that means that they heal themselves. I'm going Trust to just assume me. here. What's Leave this? It to me. It doesn't really tell me anything, does it? Oh, no. Can recharge by rescuing uh, villagers. Okay, that's interesting enough. Okay, so the pacing gets a little bit on the slow side. Typically, I mean, not to say that tower defense games are like super massively quick, but this is this is pretty slow for a tower defense game. Good aim, boy. But those were soft targets. Let's see how you fare against armored vampires. Okay. <laughs> I came prepared, Father, just like you would have. I have armor-piercing bolts. Yeah, no, Jack's, Jack's voice is really starting to get kind of irritating, if you ask me. Money. I mean, this is the kind of problem that, you know, Sanctum fix uh, when it came to tower defense, is that there is a very, very large amount of waiting in tower defense games. And as I said, the game, the pacing on this, it's a little too slow for my life. I always have more. How about armored and regenerating vampires? Wait, I'm coming. I think that's really the problem because I'm spending a lot of time just waiting and because of how the game's operating system, what you know, how the towers are the heroes and not actual towers, you kind of spend a lot of time just sitting here with nothing to do. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting here and it's not like, I don't even know what the hell the money's used for. I mean, I don't have any more of them. So I guess I just wait. So I guess that can be considered a rather big problem with the game. It's the fact that it is very, very slow paced, at least Enough. early on. This dance macabre bores me. Another time, Slayer. You cannot run from me forever, father. He's not running. We'll have to fight him at his castle. And that's just what he wants. 
Okay, so that's that that mission dealt with. Huzzah! That's like paint done. So let's see what I got here. I got a lot of this stuff, which levels me up twice. Perfect wave, because I'm awesome. Which also gets that a bit more. Townspeople save for... I assume that you lose townspeople. Okay, so let's get to this town. You saved the town, but Count Necrosis will surely attack again with even greater savagery. I gained four stuff. Then we must bring the battle to him. We'll storm the castle. Excellent. Now we can reopen the forge. Okay, so let's let's do that then. Let's rebuild this forge. Visit the forge to upgrade your equipment. Okay, uh, let's do that then. You'll find runes on your campaign. Use them for your weapons. Is that like the thing that I found? Like those gem things? It's rune inventory. These are runes currently on your on your weapon. That stuff it seems. Drag the room from the second slot into the first slot. Great! When you charge up Jack's weapon on the next map, he'll shoot two projectiles at once. Okay. Feel free to experiment with different combinations of rooms. Alright. For unlocking the forge, I've got a rune for you. Sweet. You'll need more runes to defeat the Count. Buy them or find them during your campaign. Okay, click on the road to see its description. When charged, the uh, charge cost such and goes more kind, yada yada. Okay. I'll play that. How do you get runes? Okay, so it's gold or that. By exchanging your gold in the bank. Okay. Okay. I was actually kind of worried that it might have microtransactions there for some reason. Don't ask why. I just did. Okay, so you can upgrade that stuff, which improves that stuff. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I guess we'll do that there. And that can't upgrade you. Can exchange in the bank. Don't even know who these three are still. So we got these ruins. Can't afford any of them. Can we merge any? Apparently. Don't know what that'll get us. So, okay, back. Academy. Can we upgrade the academy? Yes, we can. Okay, so it's interesting because it's got like the Scott progression that you would see in a rather in depth RPG. Uh, don't have enough skill points. Do I not? Got one skill point left. Apparently not. Okay. Splash, don't the necessary skills. Got speed aura, orange, and increase freeze. We'll go with that then, I guess. Right. Okay. I think I'm gonna call it good for now. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll record myself doing more of this stuff. Might just play on my own. I mean, it's it's interesting. It's it's got problems, but from what I've been seeing, the developers have been trying to improve on them. Uh, the voice acting's a little bit poor. Not like I'm gonna act like I'm an expert at voice acting, but, you know. Uh, the pacing is pretty slow, especially since it looks like these are the only five. But, for what it's worth, it's definitely an interesting concept, you know? I like the idea that instead of towers, it's heroes. I like the fact that they have their own progression, similar to an RPG. You know, it's got, like, building uh, building the houses and such. Uh, it's got extra little bonuses. I would say... Hmm. I'll tell you, I think the easiest way to do this is I'll just put a link to the game in the description. And you can decide for yourself from this if you want the game or not. I'm not going to be the one to tell you, because I'm kind of... I'm a little bit mixed on it, honestly. There are some things I like, there are things I don't like. So, still, 
thank you all so much for watching. If you again, if you want to see me play more of this, and let me know. Until then, though, I will catch you guys next time. Bye bye. No, 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 no,